what's going on y'all welcome to the video and i hope that you enjoyed your christmas with your loved ones and uh, i appreciate you for clicking this video during this time of season and also by clicking this video i can tell that you're actually serious about your self-improvement and with that welcome to the video i'm actually going to talk about five tips of how you can overcome your shyness and turn it into confidence and with that let's get started now the question is what makes you shy now for most people you get answers like I'm not funny enough, why will they be around me? Or I'm not interesting enough, why will they engage with me? Or something like this, what if I forget what I'm supposed to say and I just look stupid? Like it's always me, me, me. It's always me-centric. Now if you think about it, this is the core reason of why you are shy. This is the core reason of why you're holding back your potential. This is the core reason of why you're not going after what you want. Just because you think too much about yourself. When it comes to the journey of moving from being shy to confident, people always perceive it as one big step. What they don't realize is that there's a step in between shy and confident. You can go from being shy for 20 years of a life, then just being confident overnight. The step in between shy and confident is not sounding shy and not looking shy. I remember there's this one function I had in high school where I sat at the front row of the school. I'd never know why I did that. But the main speaker looked at me and told me to stand up and give an ending remark. Mind you, that time my mind was just into oblivion, just a bliss. Then this guy just told me to stand up. You can imagine the way my chest was pounding that there. Almost 1,000 students and some teachers, all of them just pointing their ears at me and their eyes glaring at me trying to see what is this guy going to say. My chest was pounding. Now with that, I told myself, I'm caught. Nothing I can do, I can't escape. I just have to do it. I remember one lady coming to me and told me, wow, I can't believe this is the first time you got on stage. You seem so confident. I couldn't perceive what's going on right now because deep inside, I knew what was going on. Then this lady comes to me and tells me that, I seemed confident, I was so confident. And for me, I take as a good theory that you become what you practice. Because all my life I've been practicing to be shy. But then this one time I practiced to be confident. I spoke well, I looked calm, and I practiced being confident. And just with that, I felt that I was getting more confident from people telling me that I looked confident. And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about fake it till you make it. I'm not talking about fake your confidence till you become confidence. No, I'm talking about practice. So I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to make you less shy and more confident. The first thing is what you can do physically to make people perceive you to be more confident. And number one is improve your posture, whole general posture. Number two, use more open body language. And number three, make good eye contact. And number two is what you can do vocally to sound more confident. We've already talked about what you can do physically. Now is what you can do vocally to express yourself that you are more confident. Number one, use strong volume. Let's use the volume scale of one to 10. You'll want your voice to be at level six. Now, if my voice was at level three, I couldn't really be talking more confidently. I'll be perceived as someone who is less, more shy and less confident. But now at level six, like this guy is actually more confident, he's actually talking to me with a strong volume in his voice. Number two, make sure that you end your sentence in a low pitched voice. For example, what if I was talking high like this? How will it make you feel? Did you have a good day today? Am I high? Like you can feel each and every sentence feels like a question. And number three, make sure that in your conversation, you pause more. Pausing radiates confidence. Number three, adopt a curious mindset. Remember the main causes of shyness is that you focus too much inwardly and not on the other person. For example, they've gotten into a hobby, let's say painting. Ask three follow-up questions about painting. What got you into it? Who's your heroes in painting? What ignited the spark of painting? And just from that, you'll twist their focus from you to them. And number four, elaborate on the replies. Let's say someone asks you, how was your weekend? Don't just say, oh, it was great, then ask them again, how was your weekend? Nah, as much as you turn your focus onto them, the other person also wants to know more about you. So if they ask, how was your weekend? 
tell them exactly what you did on the weekend. I did this, I went to the movies, I did this, I did this. Talk to them, elaborate on the replies. Don't just give one answer, then shut up. And with that, you'll just be perceived to be more confident than how you really are. Number five, have stories ready to share. Sharing stories is one of the easiest ways to build rapport and build self-confidence. But the only way to do that is by documenting your stories in any type of way, whether it's writing, whether it's recording it, whether it's just memorizing it in your mind. But document your stories and make sure that you go out there, talk to people, and that's how you create stories to tell other people. Now, as you part ways, before the video ends, I just want to remind you that the reason you are shy or you feel like you're shy is because you've been practicing being shy for the whole of your life to the point where you've gotten good at it. Till now, we need to learn new techniques and new habits for you to build confidence. And with that, don't get discouraged. It won't come easy, it will take time. But keep on going, keep on trying, keep on practicing, and you'll get better with time. And with that, I hope that made sense, bro. I hope that you made it the end of this video. And if you did, I appreciate you. And I would recommend that you watch this video right here because it's a bang of a video. And if you're new to the channel, how are you doing, bro? You're welcome to the channel. Subscribe and join the journey. I'll see you the next time. And if I don't, I'll be mad, bro. Peace.